introduce myself. My name is Robert Benchley. Now, no matter. By any measure at all, one of the century's great humorists was Robert Benchley. In the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, Robert Benchley was a household name. He was everywhere. He was in newspapers and magazines, books. He was on the radio. He was on the stage. And, of course, he was on film. Robert Benchley was one of those great Hollywood character actors. Referring to his characters as just normal bumblers, he combined his dry sense of humor with natural acting ability and bumbled his way through many memorable scenes. Hello, Eddie. This is Plunger Stebbin. I want to place a little bet on Flippity Gibbet in the first race. The... But the race is over. What do you know about that? Okay, I'll call you back later. Well, I wasn't exactly scared. I just woke up in a cold sweat screaming, that's all. And uh, what might your name be, my dear? Applegate. Just Applegate? Nothing in front? Miss. <laughs> well, Miss, you make yourself comfortable. You know what I always say, no matter what the weather is? I say, why don't you get out of that wet coat and into a dry martini? Dry martini, wet coat. <laughs> Benchley also produced and wrote over 20 short films himself, one of which won an Academy Award. These popular films were usually presented as comic lectures about everyday life. Every man, even the mildest of us, has this quality of moral courage. And it crops out at the darndest time. Do you drink to excess? Just a minute. What's this for? Who wants to know? I said, do you drink to excess? Why, well, uh, I don't Answer think so. yes or no. Joe, why are you answering all these questions when you don't even know what it's for? Just whom do you represent, anyway? I represent a survey that's being made. What survey? You have to pardon my wife. She's you don't have to pardon me at all. Now you get out of Honey, here. This is perfectly ridiculous. Well, of course, this quality of moral courage is very good, but after all, if the wife has it, the man doesn't need it anyway. His persona was so well known back then, he was often caricatured. And as a narrator, his unmistakable voice was often heard in both short and feature films. Now, at this point, the plot is much more interesting from your point of view than mine. Robert Benchley presided over Hollywood's Garden of Allah Hotel with legendary practical jokes and unquenchable wit. He was bi-coastal before the word was invented, bringing the sharp edge of New York to sunny California. Robert Benchley, another of the unforgettable faces of AMC.